like the Union. Bro, what do you mean you're gonna quit uni? I've been working on this code for like three hours every night. It's not been any easier. Listen, yeah. Let me get. Let me talk to you. What do you mean? Uni is three years. Yeah, but three years is long. I could be out traveling. I could go do anything I want. Why? Why am I wasting my time? I don't even make any money. But after this three years, you're done and dusted. It's still long though, it's still long. Do you know it's what? It's not worth it, it's not worth it. Do you know what, let me show you something. Do you see this? Yeah, man. Average! Average, yeah? <laughs> Guys, engineering is going to be the hardest subject that you can pick at university. I think this is a fact. There are maybe medicine and law. Can get there, but in terms of pure difficulty, not longevity, just difficulty, I think engineering is probably the one. You will have to attend way more lectures. You're going to do way more work and you're gonna hate your life because you will have to stay in your room while some people are going clubbing and you're gonna be depressed and your mental health is going to suffer. But guess what? That's going to be worth it. It will be worth it. And let me tell you why. You're going to have these moments where you're going to be with yourself or maybe with your friend. You're gonna be there by a computer looking at this code and you're going to be sitting there for hours and hours and you're going to be like, yo, this is impossible. I can't solve this, bruv. But somehow you and your friend figure out this one thing that you forgot to do. And after four hours of staring at this code, oh, 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 yes, oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 and you see this moment, you feel like a scientist. You feel like you're Archimedes. I think that's something that is really valuable to a student or to just any person. It's like this evolution, like in Pokemon. That's literally how it feels like. Like you've created something, like you've invented something. And that's really, really valuable. And most people never really get that feeling. And it's very unique to programming, I feel like. Throughout your university career, you're gonna have, a, like not loads, but you're gonna have those moments where you're sitting on this monumental task which requires loads and loads and loads of time. Being able to do that and work at a really high mental capacity, really feeling like you're on the edge of your intellect is really powerful. The same way when you're, you know, when you're lifting weights and you know that it's just about, just about you're going to be able to push it. That's that's where the real muscle is getting built. That's what hypotrophy is. Another thing, and I think we will forget about this, especially us 20 year olds that have been in education for our life. You work for the majority of your time. I don't know what the exact statistic is, but it's ridiculous. The amount of time you actually spend working, that you sit in this office or this job, it's so large. So you wanna make sure that this job is going to pay you well, that it will provide you stability. And that's so important. And engineering jobs are really good at that. You get benefits, you get these things like travel insurance, life insurance, you get, you know, you get discounts for gym memberships. They kind of, they, bro, they take care of you. Life is not bad. Your work-life balance is not bad. You don't have to work on Saturdays. That sounds crazy, but you know how many people have to work on Saturdays? My dad works on Saturdays every single day since he came or arrived in this country. And it's a luxury. It's a luxury to be an engineer. And you know what? You don't even have to be the best engineer. You don't even have to be so passionate about it. I found this really interesting clip from Naval, and it's about what would happen if every single person became an engineer. Listen to this. But yes, everybody can be rich. And let me give you a thought exercise, okay? Imagine if tomorrow we could wave a wand and everybody was trained as a scientist or an engineer. Everybody. Even if you weren't very good, you had enough understanding of computers, you could write some code, you could build some hardware. And don't tell me people can't do it because they can. That's just the tyranny of soft expectations. That's just you looking down on somebody else. They can do it. They just have to be educated. Now, if they're educated all as hardware, software, engineers, scientists, biologists, technicians, hard sciences, not the social sciences, we would all be done within five years. Robots would be doing everything from cleaning toilets to cooking food to flying airplanes to driving Ubers. And what would we be doing? We would be doing all creative jobs to entertain each other and researching science and technology. We would have wonderful lives. So it is really just a question of education. And to add to Novo, it's much easier to be unhappy in an engineering role 
than any other role on this world because of all those benefits that you receive, especially in America where you have to pay ridiculous amounts of money for your health. And you know what, if you decide that this is not for you, you probably can afford to change roles now, to do something that you really wanna do because you can, but it's completely different when it's the other way around. When you wanna do something you're really passionate about, but you don't have the facilities, you don't have the money. That's when it becomes a sticky one, you know? What I'm trying to get across is dropping out is only really a smart move if you know exactly what you're doing with your life. And to be frankly honest, when you're 19, you do not have a clue what you're doing with your life. And that's for like 99% people, including me. If you're that 1% that knows exactly what you wanna do with your life, cool, so be it, drop out of uni, do what you wanna do. And you know, like uni is a scam, and I'm not denying that. You do not need to have an art degree to become a world-class artist. You don't need to become an amazing businessman or businesswoman and have an MBA. But if you wanna become a seriously good engineer, you need to learn your physics and your maths from a good place. And you can't do that unless you go to a good university. Whilst you're there in your lab, working with oscilloscopes and spectrum analyzers worth 20,000 pounds, there are English students reading books which are worth maybe 20 pound max. Only drop out of university if you know what the hell you're doing with your life. <laughs>